Young football players often begin playing the sport at a very young age. Children may play in youth leagues all through elementary school and on up through middle school and eventually high school. Some young men love football so much that they end up making the sport a career for themselves. A small number are talented enough to make large salaries in professional football. Most don't make it that far, but stay connected to the sport they love as football coaches at various levels. Football can no doubt be fun to play, but there is also an element of danger to the sport that can't be denied. It is rare to watch any football game at any level without some sort of injury taking place. Players have even died or received serious neck and spinal cord injuries as a result of playing football. Each new football season sees as many as 500,000 kids under the age of 15 experience some kind of football-related injury. These numbers could be lessened if their football equipment were properly fitted and worn at all times. This includes practice as well as games. Properly fitting football equipment and gear is just as important as having the correct equipment. Football equipment that does not fit correctly may not provide the proper protection needed to protect the player from the aggressive hits and collisions that occur so often in the sport. If your child is just beginning to play football, then it's imperative that your child's equipment fits well and is replaced if damaged. Encourage them to always wear all pieces of safety equipment at all times. The football helmet is the most recognizable piece of football safety equipment and may well be the most important. A proper football helmet has a hard outer shell with protective padding lining the inside of the helmet. There are helmets that feature inflatable air pads that can be injected with more air for comfort and a snug fit as needed. A certified and properly fitting helmet is essential for protecting the head from collisions with other players and the ground. A football helmet also has an adjustable chin strap that enables the head to be contained within the helmet upon impact. A properly fitting helmet will rest firmly over the head and will not move about when the player's head moves. Helmets have a face guard that protects the nose and the teeth from injury. There are different types of face guard intended for protection based on what position a player plays. For example, a quarterback or receiver would not wear the same type of face mask that a lineman would wear. It's hard to believe that when football first started being played, there were no face masks for players. There were many facial and nose injuries that occurred and eventually equipment manufacturers began to improve on safety features to better protect players. The football mouthpiece is a vital safety device for the sport of football. A mouthpiece is intended to fit each player's individual mouth for protection from teeth and jaw injuries as well as concussions. Most mouthpieces can be put in hot water until they are soft. The player then bites down on the mouthpiece until their teeth leave an impression in the material. This ensures the fit to be tailored to only that one player. A well-fitting football mouthpiece is a vital piece of football safety equipment that all players should wear in practice and in games. Shoulder pads are another important part of a football player's safety equipment. There are shoulder pads that are often worn by quarterbacks, sometimes called the flat type. These shoulder pads are less bulky and can provide a better range of motion and freedom of movement. Players that have to endure tackles and hard hits for most of the game wear a bulkier form of shoulder pad. For example, a lineman would need a different type of shoulder pad than a wide receiver as these football positions require different skill sets and talents. These are more restrictive but offer more protection to the player from the shock of continual blows to the shoulder area. All shoulder pads are designed to absorb the shock from hard hits and falls. Shoulder pads are designed to protect the neck, shoulders, and chest. Shoulder pads should be fit to the size of the player. If a player wears shoulder pads that are too big, 
the player is in jeopardy of injury as the pads will not protect them as intended. There are other pads that players should wear depending on their playing position and amount of abuse they take during a game. Blockers and offensive linemen may wear neck roll padding to help protect against whiplash and other neck injuries. Padding is also worn on the chest, knees, elbows, hips, tailbone, and thighs. Many players at all positions now wear gloves to protect their hands and knuckles from injuries. Skill position players like wide receivers and running backs often wear gloves to help get a better grip on the football. Some players may choose to wear a protective cup to protect the genital area. An injury to that part of the body can be extremely painful and can certainly happen in football. We hope you've enjoyed this look at football equipment and football safety. There's no doubt that having proper fitting safety equipment is of utmost importance for football players at all levels. Be sure to like this video and leave us a comment on your favorite piece of football safety equipment. Do you wear football gloves as a part of your uniform? Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great football content like this. Thanks for watching.